guys, I'm Heidi. Thanks for joining me today. So I have some thrift flips in store for you. I have three items here. All of them came from Goodwill. I will let you know the price. I will let you know the materials I used and how much those materials were. And of course the before and after, that's the best part of it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first things first, I have this little photo shelf that my mother-in-law actually found and said, please make this look nicer. She loves pictures of her grandkids, so I think this will be maybe one of the easiest flips of today. So the plan is to remove all the hardware, take out these panels, which are actually pretty easy because they come out um, just by pushing that down. So I'll have to clean those up, clean this whole thing up, it's a little bit dirty. This will be white, and then the hooks will be either black or charcoal. I haven't decided yet. And then of course I'll put pictures into the kids and then give it back to her. So I think this should be an easy flip. Shouldn't take too much time or effort. And I guess we'll see how that goes. Next up, we have salt shakers. These look a little vintage. I'm not sure if they actually are or not but they have the look of them to me, so that's all I need. I don't need true vintage for this. Um, these will become waterless snow globes. Now, my daughter's doing vintage, vintage Christmas in her kitchen this year, so these will work perfect. And I have done these in the past. It's probably been 10 years though, so might be a little rusty on that. But the plan is to clean these up a little bit, not too much because I actually like the rust around the top rim and glue a bottle brush tree down inside here and add some faux snow. Then you're done. It's really simple, really easy. These were $1.99, so a dollar each. I think you can get bottle brush trees fairly cheap, so these should be an under $2 project per item. And if I didn't say, the shelf was $3.99. I'm not sure, you know. You get to a certain point where you forget what you've said. <laughs> so this next one is my one I'm so excited to do. This is a sleigh that I think just goes together in like four pieces. Like I think they slip down inside each other to, for this to go together. Uh, this was at Goodwill for $4.99. It was labeled as a baby doll cradle. It's definitely a sleigh. So the plan for this is to wipe it down. It's awfully dirty and I think I have a spider living in here somewhere. Gonna wipe it down, sand the edges a little bit that might be, you know, sticking out a little too much or places where it might be. We have a couple chips that are loose. This will be white and distressed. I have a feeling though that sometimes this material tends to be difficult to cover. It wants to bleed through yellow when you use white and it always seems to be around these knots. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is maybe do a quick coat of Kills White. I think you could also do like a, a coat of Mod Podge and just kind of seal that in or maybe even do a black coat first. Uh, I think I'm gonna do Kills. I might get lazy and just throw a white coat on and see. And then if it does soak through, then maybe I'll put Kills. But I already have white paint in my sprayer, so we'll see how that goes. But this will be white and distressed and we'll go on my porch maybe right behind me here and hope to put a tree in it maybe a little blanket hanging out so I think this project is one I'm most excited for so if you like anything that you see stick around watch how I do it and watch the, for the final product Okay, so here's the before photo. As you can see, it's not in too bad of shape, but definitely needs an upgrade. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I start by removing the hardware. Pretty straightforward. Then I'm just gonna clean it up with my soapy water spray and rag. I figure out halfway through that I probably should have taken the frame inserts out before doing that, <laughs> but I get there eventually. 
Anything that comes from the Goodwill always needs a good wipe down. And then I'm just going to sand it with a fine grit sandpaper just to make sure that there aren't any pieces sticking up and where the screws for the hooks screwed in had a little bit that needed to be sanded off. Not too difficult though. And then of course I have to give it another quick wipe down again because of the dust from the sandpaper. Now I'm gonna use my Wagner Flexio spray painter. This thing has just saved my life. I absolutely love it. And this is the Dutch Boy paint from Menards. Now I'm going to set up my hooks and screws and I'm gonna give them, uh, I ended up giving them a few coats of this charcoal spray paint from Rust-Oleum because I had to turn them a few different ways each time to make sure that they were fully covered. And I'm a big fan of this color, this charcoal color. I use it quite often. So the first time around, it, it went on pretty well, but I had to turn them on their sides and just make sure. And then after these were dry, after a few coats, I did give them a coat of clear matte spray from Rust-Oleum as well. All right, now it's time for the hard part. <laughs> Because this latex paint is so thick, that's really what I like about it, but it also can be a little bit of a bear to distress. So I have a medium grit there and it comes off not too difficult, but it takes a while to definitely get it to where I want it to be. Okay, now it's time to put the hardware back on. And of course, I also put the inserts back in and there's the final product. I didn't have photos to put in it, so I just wrote a few words on black paper with some silver Sharpie. And I've given it to my mother-in-law and she was ecstatic. She actually said she was gonna leave the words in for the Christmas season and then told me I better get her some photos to put in of the kids after. Okay, so for our next project, we have salt shakers. <laughs> Please do not judge me on my excessive tree miniature hoarding. <laughs> this is years of collecting. Uh, I do have miniature houses, but I have a lot of projects that I've used these trees for. So um, when I can get them cheap or when I find ones that are just too cute to pass up, I add them to my collection. So I have some faux snow there, and I got that clearance for 19 cents at Meyer years ago. Uh, you're gonna need a glue gun, a set of needle nose pliers, and some trees. You might not be able to pick from such a vast collection of trees as me, but that's okay. I'm just using this paintbrush. Later, you'll see how I use it. So right now, I am just trying to make sure that the tree fits and it's going to look the way I want. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my hot glue. I would also suggest using E6000 
or maybe the Gorilla Glue glue sticks. I hear good things about that, but you're probably going to want an additional type of glue to keep this on. Mine are just being set on a shelf, but I could see how maybe if you plan on keeping them and bring them out every year, it might detach from the jar with just using the hot glue. Please ignore my dry winter hand. <laughs> Okay, so now, of course, they are both glued to the bottom. Looking pretty cute already, but I'm going to add some of this faux snow. So I'm using the paintbrush because I couldn't think of anything else to use to get it down in there. I didn't want to just dump it in because then it's going to get all on the top of the tree and all over the sides of the jar. So the paintbrush seemed to be what worked for me. Now, if you have a small spoon or you could probably use, I don't know, something else, the paintbrush is just what worked for me. So that's what I used. You can use anything. And also for the snow, you could use um, sugar, you could use flour, you could use all different types of things, whatever works for you. And there is the final product. I've made these before and I just love them. I think they're the cutest, they're simple and easy to do and a really quick project that's super cheap. Okay guys, here's our final project, the sleigh. It's a little bit dated, but still has so much potential. I start by wiping it down with my soapy water spray, which is just hot water, and then I mix a little bit of Dawn dish soap in with it. It's, I use it a lot for things that don't require intense cleaning, but just really quick wipe downs. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Dutch Boy paint and my Wagner Flexio sprayer, and I'm gonna give it one good coat. And you can see that it's kind of difficult to get in all those little nooks and crannies. So you only see this first coat that I do, but I did give it uh, two additional coats, one flipped upside down to get all the other spots, and then one more on top to give it a nice even second coat. This paint sprayer makes everything so easy though. I think any paint sprayer in general can make a difference with the time spent on these projects. Okay, so after my second coat, it is time to give it a good distressing. Now I started with a medium grit sandpaper and this, or the sanding block was close to um, the end of its life anyway. And as I was doing this, it just kept falling apart. The pieces were flying around everywhere. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it was definitely on its last legs and ended up going in the trash after this. I always try to use as things as many times as I possibly can to get the most use and most for my money out of them. So at, at this point, I start to realize I should probably get a better sanding paper, <laughs> and heavier grit. So I pulled a couple of the ones out that I had actually already used. That is for my uh, orbital sander. It is a coarse grit and I had already used it on my orbital sander, but it had a little bit of life left. So I just folded it up and it worked perfectly for what I was trying to accomplish on this. I had not planned on distressing the actual sides, but decided to and I was really happy with how that turned out but starting out with the coarse sandpaper is what I should have done because it made the job go a lot faster and a lot easier And here's the final result. 
I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's definitely my favorite project for this video. And I, I didn't even use what I thought I was going to use inside, but I think it just all came together so great. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos.